Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Jolie Vega. Um, before we go any further, please make sure you hit that subscribe button for me. Um, thank you all who have been watching and subscribed to my channel so far. But those of you who are new, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you all give me a huge thumbs up and leave a comment for me, please. Um, so I'm going to kind of jump right into this because I've actually been holding on to these items for like... Um, since Sunday and today is Tuesday and I've been really like excited and wanting to like rip open these packages but um yeah if you've if you've watched any of my videos you might know that um I started my channel not very long ago uh, with a skincare video and I just one day decided just get started because I've been procrastinating for like a long time and sorry if you can hear the air because like we just came from getting something to eat and it's super hot and humid it had been raining so I've been like sweating and I think I'm still sweating but yeah so if you can hear the air sorry about that um if I have to do a voice over once I check this then I will do that but hopefully I don't have to um hopefully you can hear me well enough but yeah so I started out with my skincare video and it was one day after procrastinating forever and I just said start with what you have just start the channel so, um, so far I've been using my iPad. Um, I use the iPad for the skincare video and, um, I did like when I did some vlogging type videos, I was using my iPhone. I have like the iPhone 13 pro max. And then I, I don't know what iPad I have. It was like a pro something, but I don't know exactly what, what kind it is. Um, but I'm recording with it now, so I don't want to mess that up. But yeah, so I just been doing, you know, use what you got. Like I said, start a YouTube channel on the things that you have, which so far have been great. And um, I even think like the iPhone has been great for doing like the blogging style stuff. And even the iPad, like when I'm doing like still frames of me, um, just kind of doing a chit chat or whatever. And I've even been using the iPad for like makeup. The phone I couldn't figure out like my studio lighting versus settings. I know a lot of people know like the settings for the phone, settings for the iPads. I don't know all that. Um, I know that I wanted to, it to be, you know, as high quality as I could. I didn't want to do 4K, so I've been doing like 1080, 60. Um, so yeah, so I've been using my iPad for like makeup videos. And while they've been like, okay, um, I wanted it to be better. And it, like I said, it could be just because of me not knowing what settings to use, especially with the studio lighting. Um, so I wanted things to show up a little bit better and to kind of level up my channel and invest in my channel a little more. So I'm gonna jump right into these boxes because I have been wanting to get into them. Um, I did a lot of research and I finally got me an actual camera. Um, I got me a camera and you might be able to see the camera in the back. Um, I know like in my video, my YouTube on the channel on a budget video, I talked about this camera. It's a Minolta and my sister had gotten it for an employee gift, a gift from her employer. But um, I was having a hard time keeping a connection and um, uploading things from it. Like it took pictures really well, really good pictures and some small like filming of products and stuff but I just couldn't get that thing to work good for me so yeah so after some research I watched some different vloggers and you know youtubers doing doing vlogs youtubers doing makeup uh, sit down makeup videos and a lot of them were using like two different cameras one for vlogs one for like sit down makeup or sit down videos and everything and so I did a lot of research between Sony cameras and Canon cameras and I decided to go with this one um, it's the Sony ZV-E10 um, I noticed that a lot of people for vlogging were using like the Sony ZV-1 but I read somewhere that that was like um, you know they weren't going to be producing that one anymore they were stopping production on that one and then this one was like a newer newer one it's, and newer than the ZV-1 which was going out of production um, so 
I noticed a lot of people are using this one for vlogging, but I did notice like on some other channels, like the quality when they were doing their makeup and other, you know, sit down content was like really good. So that's why I got this Sony v ZV-E10, which I am going to, um, I haven't even opened it up yet. So I'm going to get to that in a second. And then I got this Sony vlogger kit and it has, um, it's like a Bluetooth wireless, um, wireless remote commander. And then it has a memory card in there. So, um, got that. And then you can stabilize it like a tripod too. So I like that. The only thing is I was watching some recent YouTube videos and I noticed that a lot of, um, a lot of people that were vlogging were using something um, like a vlogging stick with, that was longer. And I was like, well, maybe that's so that they won't have to hold their arm out so far. But um, but I got this one right now, so I'm gonna see how this works for me. And then I got the um, shotgun, Sony shotgun microphone, this one. And I hope I haven't been going too fast and not really showing it yet, but yeah. So I got the shotgun microphone and i don't know if it's in here but one of them has yeah this one has a windscreen in it also um and if i didn't show this good enough that's the sony zv e10 oh and for the sony zv e10 i actually got it with the um because you have to get the the um the lens it's an interchangeable lens digital camera and it's a mirror mirrorless camera and so this one did have the lens in there. Um, they had other lenses. They had some where it didn't have the lens and then some where, and then a lot of other lenses that you could, you know, that you could buy because like I said, it's an interchange, interchangeable lens camera. And then I just bought like some extra stuff to go, to go with it because like, I didn't want, want to run out of like battery and, Okay, I can't get this thing open. This is Art Man. These are these were I got these as for extra batteries for for the camera actually. So this is from Art Man, and this was a two pack with um and this so this had the charger in it also. So I had two batteries. It has this to charge and this USB um two batteries the batteries for the camera were np fw50 so these are both um lithium ion batteries i believe they're called and then i bought this um oh i just got a because the vlogger kit it comes with uh a memory card but it's a sony 64 gigabyte so i wanted to get another memory card this is the ScanDisk Extreme Pro 128 gigabyte memory card. So I got that. And then I got, um, I just brought a screen protector for it, for the camera. I can even tell from like, this is how it, this is how it came. Like it wasn't in a box or anything. So I would have to go through my phone to figure out Who sold this? Um, well, everything I got, I got um, shipped from Amazon with Amazon Prime. So, um, but I don't know which store I actually sold it. Um, but yeah, that's just a screen protector that I'll see if I'm gonna put on the camera. And then I wanted a carrying case for it. So this is how this came, like it wasn't in anything except this bag. And like I said, everything I bought, the camera was sold and shipped by Amazon. Um, and then I got warranties. The microphone was sold and shipped by Amazon. And then the, um, the vlogger kit I got, it was sold and shipped by Amazon. But the other pieces, 
this one, the carrying case was actually sold by a different company. It was shipped by Amazon, but whatever it is on this carrying case, I don't even think that was the name. I don't know, but it, yeah, it came straight from Amazon. So anyway, I got this, like I said, carrying case. Which, which I made sure it had like room for camera, for the vlogging, um, tripod for the tripod and for the microphone. So that's nice too, it's all nice and inside. And it has a strap, it does have a strap and you can put some other things in inside of there. So I thought that was cool. Hard on the outside. So I'm going to open up the camera box to see what all is in here because a lot of um, a lot of stuff I saw said that there wouldn't be a an adapter, but then I, I opted to not buy an adapter. I just said, well, I'll just get um, a lot of extra, you know, not a lot, but I would get extra batteries so that I wouldn't, you know, have to worry about running out of batteries, um, out of power. So um all your guides and whatever and it says that supplies that should be in the box should be the camera and it says it does have an adapter so it says one adapter power cord rechargeable battery pack so one of the n p f w 50 batteries um and it says a usb windscreen attached to the windscreen adapter. I don't know what that really means. Um, a shoulder strap, a body cap, and then the guides and manual. So, USB. Um, here is the shoulder strap. And this is, okay, this is the wind screen attached to the screen adapter. So I guess this black piece is the adapter. If you can see it. And then, oh, okay, that's just, that's the adapter. It can be hooked up to the USB. So that's good. They actually had it in there because because the Sony adapters were like a hundred dollars when I looked it up. And then I saw um, like some others that were compatible. There were like twenty something. So I started to get that, and then I changed my mind, and I just wound up getting um, getting the uh, extra batteries. And sorry if I haven't been looking up because I'm like all up in this box. Um, okay, so this is the battery the and this is a Sony battery. The batteries that I got, like I said, they weren't Sony, but they were compatible. Um, but yeah, NPFW50. So that's cool. So now I have I'll have three batteries for the camera, three batteries for the tripod. So that, I think that should be enough, hopefully, if I remember to make sure I'm charging. Okay, so here is the camera. It's so cute. And when I was doing like my research, I was trying to see because like, I like the um cannons that they were using for like sit down videos and makeup videos um were like kind of heavy although some would be like you can i mean you can use it for vlogging your arm might be tired but but i didn't want anything like too heavy or too bulky and big but still with like really good quality so that i could do um like I said, I kind of try to level up my channel some as far as quality with makeup videos and sit down videos and all of that. So 
Um, so it's really, it's really cute. So it has, it has the cap on it. So the lens that I got with my camera is the um, 15 to, no, it's 16 to 50 millimeter. Um, and apparently with milli with the millimeters, because they had other lenses where you could get higher millimeter and the higher the millimeters, like the more zoomed in and close you can get. Um, so I decided to stick with the, with this one, the 16 to 50, because I didn't feel like I was going to need, need anything higher than this. Um, so I figured I would start with this and then it, later on down the line, if I felt like I needed, you know, something a little bit. A little bit more than I would do that but yeah so really cute and then I'm gonna put this back in here I'm glad I'm finally opening because I wanted to make sure like the screen was good and everything because I hadn't I, I really hadn't checked it at all oh yeah and so it's um yeah monitor yeah have the monitor facing this way so like if you're vlogging you can see yourself and you know see what's going on with the monitor or if you're you know had the camera on yourself or turned around you can turn the monitor back around so that you know you can see how everything is looking that way so so cute like i can't wait to test it out and then I like that you can use your smart device to control the camera. So I hooked it up to my iPhone and to my iPad. And I think it'll be great because then when I'm doing like my makeup, I can use my iPad as a monitor so that I can see better because the iPad is just bigger than the camera screen. Let's see what's in this blogger kit. I know it's only, I think it's only supposed to be two things, but it might, it might surprise me with something else. Camera grip. Why couldn't I think of that word? I couldn't think of that word. I know tripod and I'm like vlogging stick. Camera grip pairing guide. So shooting grip with wireless remote commander. And so yeah, this is the one that had the um the 64 gigabyte memory card. But that's a Sony memory card. And I think I saw like, I was on the Sony website and I saw like the higher memory cards, like prices were like not cheap at all. I wasn't getting those. So that's why I went with the scan disc, um, scan disc memory card. They have a little bag in here. And that's the camera grip or mini tripod. You put it out like this. So that you can sit it up and stabilize it on stuff. So yeah, like really cool. And then you can, um, so you can just press movie or press photo on here, but I'll get more into the details of it once I actually <laughs> try it out. So this is the shotgun microphone. Looks like this. And it came with a windscreen. And then this little what do you call this to attach it to your phone? 
And so I'm gonna show you which um, which settings I'm gonna use um, for my next video. And um, yeah, so then once you watch that the next the video after this, then you can let me know if you have any questions or anything, um, any more questions about my like my settings or what I think about the camera or anything, and then just let me know in the comments and I will I will give you some responses. So I will um, I'll be right back. So first you want to make certain that you're in um, the video mode, movie mode. And then my focus mode, I did continuous autofocus. My focus area, I set to wide. They do have some other options where you could limit the area. Um, but I'm going with wide for mine. And then I'm going to go to the face eye autofocus um, set. And you'll see the subject detection human, right, left eye selection is auto, face eye frame display is on, animal eye display is on. Now on here, the face eye priority and autofocus is off because I have a different setting that doesn't allow you to also click that. Um, so you won't see that. But on focus frame color, I did go with white. They do have choice of red or white. And again, I went with white. You'll see me just kind of going through. Well, you'll see different options. Um, white balance is auto. Soft skin effect is a very nice tool. You can do low, mid, or high, or off. You've seen my skin in the raw. So um, because I've been using my phone and my my iPad so it's a nice setting to have don't necessarily need it but it's your preference um, so shoot mode is in I used intelligent auto and that's why a lot of things you saw were kind of grayed out because um, I'm letting the camera do a lot of things for me now once you like they say um, I saw some people say you kind of take the training wheels off then you might want to use the manual uh, shoot mode and then you can choose different options for yourself instead of letting the camera choose but I like the intelligent auto mode so I'm sticking with that for now and then my file format I went with XAVC S4K they do have HD I'm thinking for makeup videos I'll do 4K for um, vlogs maybe I'll do 1080 60 because it uploads uploads a lot slower in 4k and then on here you'll see me I think on here I put 30p 100 megs but I actually am using the 24p 100 megs so it's your choice you can choose either um, and that's for my record settings um, S and Q settings, they have some slow motion settings, but I'm not um, doing those right now, so I didn't get into that. Auto focus transition speed. On here, you'll see me put it at one. I actually, once you play with it and decide what you know what you're going for, my auto focus um, transition speed, I went with two, uh, and you'll see why. Um, and then for auto focus. Sorry, this thing got blurry. I'm recording with my uh, with my phone right now, and the lighting is kind of blurring it, so I had to readjust. But the autofocus subject shift sensor, um, you'll see on here. I put it one one locks it kind of, but I wanted it on responsive, and I put it at level five. And again, you'll see once you see the sample video that I put in. Um, so auto slow shutter made sure that was on audio recording. I wanted to make sure that was on um, so that you can make sure your audio is, is recording, of course. Um, so now you'll see me going through some different things. Let's see, audio level display, wanted to make sure that was on. You don't want to go into the red with your audio. Now, I have an attached shotgun microphone and uh, windscreen, so my level is different. It's on 15 
but you don't want it to go into the red. So steady shot on here, you'll see standard. I actually went with, with active. I really liked active better. There were some suggestions to use standard, but I like the active one. Um, those are grayed out, as you can see, the steady shot settings. Um, marker display, I did use later on because I liked the markers on my screen. So you can play with that and decide if you want to use some of those. Um, zoom range. It's going to go back. You'll see steady shot again. Made, made sure that was on. And then the zoom range, clear image zoom is my setting. Um, they have some others you can choose between. Um, and then they have the zebra setting, which is not on all, um, it's not on every camera, but I just put it on. The zebra pattern is a um, camera feature that overlays some stripes. So it's like black and white zigzag stripes kind of into the image that indicate exposure levels. It aids in exposure by showing stripe pattern over areas that are close to overexposure. Again, it's not on all cameras. It's kind of like once you get used to these different things and work with them, then you'll decide if you want to use that. I put mine at 70, but you, you know, it's not, like I said, on every camera. So it's not something that you just have to do as you're starting out as a beginner. So yeah, I'm just kind of going through showing you what they have in the menus. You can actually, um, set some of your settings they have options for that so that's pretty cool and with the camera grip that i have you can also press things like your video to record or you can press photo if you want to take pictures you can do that with the camera camera grip slash tripod that i have so that's pretty cool and then on the camera i don't think i showed you and on the camera grip this was automatically set has a c1 button and it's already set for if you press it it will defocus the background i did not show that sorry about that but that c1 button is automatically set there other people set it to different things now this is a, t a great tool the smartphone connection and send to smartphone you can um, download the Imaging Edge mobile app. And so I'm able to upload or transfer to my device, my phone and my iPad actually. Now this is the product showcase set. I set that to on because when I'm doing makeup videos or when I'm showing products, I want it to, when I display the product, I want it to zoom in on the product and then I made sure that the uh, face priority was on. So you'll see right in this video coming up right now what that does exactly. So yeah, you see how um, the camera was on me. And then when I put the product in front of me, then it will actually focus in on the product. Um, I did notice, though, that when I just hold the product without putting my hand behind it, um, the brightness of it was better. When I put my hand behind the product, you see how um, it kind of gets gets a little darker. So I actually liked it better without my hand in behind it, and it showed really well. And then the focus goes right back into uh, my face. And so that's where those settings came in, where I told you that I did the autofocus transition speed to two, and then the autofocus subject shift sensor to five so i really love that um so yeah i really actually love the camera so far and testing it out it seems like really good quality and it's doing exactly what i need it to do and i think it's really going to level up my channel so very excited about that thanks for watching i hope that you enjoyed this video please don't forget to like comment and definitely make sure you subscribe to my channel and i will see you in my next video Oh, <laughs>